redid my network recently, uh, mainly because of these videos. Actually, uh, I my MacBook doesn't have enough hard drive space to store all of these 4K videos. Uh, so I got a little server off eBay. Uh, it's kind of dark in here. Uh, it's just a little server where you can stick four hard drives in it. Uh, it had I got it because it had a 10 gigabit Ethernet port. It actually has two of them. Um, they're both these two blue cables plugged in right there to my switch. So I can just use my laptop, connect up to uh, this thing, and uh, like load all my videos up to YouTube from there. Because I was buying all these SD cards and it gets expensive, so I just set this thing up. Of course, you know, while you're at it, um, I had to like also just get all this stuff. So I got a Unify Dream Machine and a switch. And then uh, this thing is a power over ethernet switch. So I have a bunch of my uh, access points and a bunch of my security cameras plugged into it. Uh, this is the setup's working pretty well. Um, I've got internet from Cox, which is, you know, supposedly a, a gigabit, but it's kind of slow most of the time. But anyway, that comes into the Dream Machine here. Uh, works pretty well. Um, it's actually going through here first, but that's a separate thing. And then, yeah, this is all connected up with fiber. Uh, these are um, like direct attach cables. They're essentially fiber because each of these cables is a 10 gigabit connection. Um, and then these yellow fiber cables, they're going into my patch panel, going into the back there. And then out of the back of this uh, cabinet, I've got this, uh, this black cable here is a six strand fiber cable. That's going up to my attic. That goes to another switch that's powering a couple access points on the second floor. And uh, I got a little adapter so that I can plug a 10 gigabit connection right into my MacBook. So uh, that's just a really quick overview of my network setup. I'll put some links to um, what this stuff is in the description and happy to answer any questions you all have about this or if you want to see more then I can do another video going into more detail these are the some cables going in all these these are e ethernet cables coming out um, this is the, the six strand fiber cable um, so six strands of fiber t turns into three separate connections because um, it uses one fiber for up and one for down for each connection. Um, this is the coax. It's going out to um, the, what the whatever Cox plugs cable into, the power pole or whatever. Uh, and yeah, my cable modem is now just inside this thing. Oh, one more thing I should mention. Uh, I thought this was pretty cool. I, I plugged all this into a battery backup. Uh, I'll, pu I'll put a link to this too. So if I um, like, uh, if I unplug this thing, which is plugged in right here, uh, unplugged. Everything's still going. Uh, this, you know, okay, so it's, now it's yelling at me, so, uh, uh, yeah, so it's running everything, so it's, it, you can run it off for about 50 minutes at, call it 300 watts. So yeah, this server, plus all this stuff, plus all of the stuff that this switch is powering, my eight, my access points and my uh, other switches and cameras and whatnot, everything together is 300 watts. That's not 
not bad. Um, and yeah, this, this battery can run for almost an hour uh, unplugged. So anyway, I'll go ahead and plug it back in. And uh, yeah, we'll be... On our way here. Plug back in. Nothing happened. Internet stayed up. The whole network stayed up. So I can, you know, if the power goes out, uh, everything can keep running for a while. It also keeps running my security cameras. So if there's an issue with power, I can keep recording stuff. 